Hello, welcome back to Skenshin 1913, where Let's Playing Dragon Warrior 7. In the last episode, we defeated uh, Botok and found out that the priest was, at, or the monster in the town, was actually the priest, and now we're trying to save him. He was crucified almost on the. And now we brought him back here, and they're gonna. Lucas is gonna pray to the goddess statue. Hopefully that will save him. We can only hope and hope that the goddess statue will save his ass. But I doubt it. I doubt it. Where's that from? I don't remember. I doubt it. I don't, know, I don't remember where that's from. Anyways, yeah, so they got the goddess statue here. And I figured we could pray to the, uh, to the statue, but I guess not. You know what we're gonna do here? No, nothing's changed. Yeah, the goddess statue was pretty powerful in Probina, so I'm sure it'll be pretty powerful in this situation. Anyways, yes, the priest isn't feeling too hot, if you know what I mean. He's not, uh, he's not in, uh, 100% health. So let's go see the prefect. Maybe, uh, well, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do there, but, you know, like, well, maybe we can pummel him or something. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. The priest was a monster. And then he turned into a priest, and then you all puked or something, I don't know. You made a major mistake. And yeah, you should be apologizing for, to me, too, because you're a bunch of jerkheads. This is one of the reasons why I think that uh, this town, the people that live here, are big buttholes. That's right. I use butthole, the word. You don't hear butthole a lot, but I just used it to describe people. Anyways, let's let's go back and see what Lucas is uh, up to. Maybe he's done praying and healing. And who's gonna come out of here? Oh, it's the priest! How is he walking like this? Yeah, we defeated the monsters. What? Why do you want to get out of here? Why does he want to leave? Why, priesty? Yeah, but, yeah, if he leaves the village, where is he gonna go? Yeah, let's at least talk to Luke. What the hell? You don't even want to talk to Lucas? I know. Yeah, that's true. I do think it's pretty strange. Oh, okay. I, I think I get what you're getting at here. I, I'm pretty sure the the, uh, the villagers committed a pretty big crime beating the crap out of you. And I like that line he says, along with the fog, uh, the fade away, so will he. Yeah, don't worry about it, priesty. And look at this poor priest. Why has he got to leave? I don't understand. But I guess he's going to go. This this character, by the way, is, this, is not the sad, but like... The saddest character in the game, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they should leave. The people should leave, not you. Yes. Oh, come on. You wouldn't have beaten the living crap out of them. Yeah, and now every time they look at them, they'll think of their own mistakes and how stupid they were. Morons. Yeah, but he'll die! At least wait till you're healed up. Maybe we can cast like a heal all on you or something. Oh, and what's Lucas gonna do? Oh, he's giving him the goddess statue. So that. Oh. So if you haven't figured it out by now, this actually, this event actually is supposed to take place before the events of Probina. And this is the priest in Probina. This is where he originally came from. 
and he takes the goddess statue and heads off there, sadly. Sad. It's it's kind of sad actually. It's re it's really sad that this guy got all kinds of persecuted over here, and then he's gonna go to Probina have a nice life until yeah, we're leaving too. But anyways, now he's gonna go have a nice life in Probina, and then monsters are gonna attack, and he's gonna get killed. What kind of life is that? That's why I feel so bad for that priest. He's had a life full of heartache and hardship. And yeah, so the, that that goddess statue will eventually become cracked. And so yeah, the prefect wanted us to stay so that he doesn't feel a buttload of guilt for that whole priest incident. Anyways, that's pretty much all we can do in this town. So... Yes, we are. Yeah, the priest left, and that's about it. Yeah, you erect the damn monument. You honor us and him, alright? You put our names on it. It's Kenshin. And Gabo, Ira, and Melvin. Do we have to spell it out for you? Write it on a piece of paper, maybe? Yeah. I know, wasn't there... Too bad there wasn't any other way to do it, Melvin. But I guess that's the only way to do it. Yeah, because you're a child, and he's not a child anymore. He's got to grow up and be a man. Yeah, give me a break. You, yeah, you better not forget. I have a feeling that they will, though. Yeah. Yeah, you better erect the damn statue. Alright, when I come back from the present, or to the present, there better be a damn statue. Of least a friggin' priest, alright? I don't care if I don't get the statue, but that damn priest better get the statue. Alright. Not even in Probina is he remembered as much as he should be here. Yeah. So this kid wants to grow up and be a lumberjack. Lucas is a strong fella. And he's gonna become the greatest lumberjack of all time, right next to, uh, whatever that guy's name is with the blue ox. Paul Bunyan, yes. He's gonna become the greatest lumberjack since Paul Bunyan. And he's gonna have a family of lumberjacks and blue oxes. And they're all gonna live together. And I thought that the priest left a letter over here, but I guess he didn't. So look at that, that priest did two selfless acts of this thing. I mean, one, he lo you remember back in Probina when they locked us up? He, couldn't, he didn't need to lock us up. We could have totally kicked those guys' ass. The dragon warrior guy. And now, now, see, I thought there was a letter over here you can look at and be like, Oh, the priest said blah, 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 I gotta go, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, on his journey to Probina, I guess the priest... We'll get some sort of amnesia or something. And then he'll remember all the terrible things these people did as he gets killed by the Dragon Man. And then we defeat the Dragon Man and put together the uh, Goddess Statue all over again. It's kind of fun. Uh, this is kind of an interesting way, yes. Yeah, I know. If the priest was here, it would be the best. But yeah, it's kind of, I think this is kind of a neat little twist they put on one of the stories in, um, in the game, you know, you know, they had you do the, the, the first event, that, which was actually further in time than this time. Oh, look, it's the Castle of Dune. And so yeah, here it is, whoopee. And yes, okay, blah, 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 necklace, yeah, we already saw this. So yeah, I thought it was kind of cool that we can, like, and then we do the, we do the past event second instead of first. I thought that was kind of neat. So let's just get the heck out of here. I'm sick of this place. Actually, it's only going to get worse. I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, beat around the bush here, but this place is, uh, it's going to get, uh, the people here. I'm gonna be, uh, not so, uh, I'm gonna say I don't like, this town is probably one of my most hated towns in the entire game. 
you know how I hated Kabachi from Dragon Quest V? Because, uh, well, they thought that me and Barongo were working together. Well, you know what? This is, uh, this is pretty high up there. Anyways, so we're gonna return to Dune since, uh, since, uh, it's pretty close and I kind of showed you where it is. So there you go. Look at that. It's right here. Look at that huge region. Wowee. This region is big. Anyways, yeah, let's go into town. And we'll have to find out what's going on in the next episode. Bye-bye.